Good morning. We're going to get started with reverse lunge war, uh, twist for a warm up here. So we're going to take one leg back. You want to start with your right leg, and then you're going to reach down with that right hand inside that left leg and twist up. So this is just a nice way to get your hips and your legs warmed up in addition to getting some spinal rotation going on. So get those creaky backs and legs warmed up this morning. Good. All right. Okay. So my warm up question for today is if you, something happened during the night and you magically acquired the ability to do one activity, something that you enjoy um, endlessly without tiring, what activity would you choose to be able to do without tiring? And I'm gonna say running. I really enjoy running and I've actually run up to 32 miles at one time, but I really envy the people that can do the ultra marathon, like hundred mile distance. And I would love to do that, but my, uh, my tiredness would kick in. So if I had one thing, I think I would say, let's do tireless running. So Becky, what about you? Go ahead and switch sides, take your left leg back and reach down with your left hand inside your foot and twist up. What would you, what activity would you choose to be able to do without tiring? Yes. <laughs> well, it's great exercise too, right? So get a lot of good exercise. Okay. Liz and Jill, what do you think you would choose to be able to do without tiring? Also really good ones. So we're getting lots of exercise here, doing the things we love. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up to the next warm up exercise. I'm gonna have you take a medium band. We're gonna be doing a squat and a front press. So we'll be doing squatting down and pressing to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. Just a second. All right, so squat and press and then switch hands each time. So one time when you squat down with your left hand that presses out the other time, it's your right hand. So one hand will trap that band against your chest, the other hand press straight out. Catherine, what would you choose to do without getting tired? Vocal cords that never get tired. <laughs> that would be great. All right. <sighs> All right, Candace, if you chose, if you could choose an activity to do that you would never get tired doing, what would you choose? Never stop dancing. Yeah. Okay, we're looking good here. So we are going to warm up maybe just a little bit longer, like a minute or so than we normally do because we have that fitness assessment we're going right into. So I wanna make sure we're all nice and warmed up. Getting the creepiness out from the night's sleep getting our bodies ready to perform. All right. Okay, let's go into our next warm-up exercise. We're gonna be doing high pulls with no weight, no resistance or anything, but you're bringing your hands in front of you and then you're pulling them back, elbows back and thumbs about the level of where your armpits are, okay? So you'll be here and here. 
and we're doing a little bit of jumping jack or stepping jack in combination. So that's gonna look like, like this or like this, stepping out from side to side or a combination of the two, however you like. Christy, if you could choose any activity to do without getting tired, what would you choose? That's a lot of work for sure. It'd be nice to not get tired, get it all done, right? <laughs> okay. We are gonna go a little longer on this. So if you start to feel fatigue, take a break and slow it down with some steps and then go back into jumping side to side if you can. Okay. So our fitness assessment coming up, we've got the donkey kicks, the push-ups, and then what we're doing right now is warming our arms up for that range of motion for the bow and arrow rows, where we'll be putting our hands in front of us one at a time and pulling back, but with a band, but this same kind of level of arm movement here. Okay. All right, great job warming up. So what we're gonna do, now I'm gonna take you through, cause I know not all of you could be here for the first exercise of this month. So I'm gonna take you through the little chart that we need to draw to keep track of our exercise the next 15, 20 minutes. So if you uh, make sure you have a pen and paper nearby um, and we're gonna draw this chart together just take about 30 seconds and then we'll be able to have a nice way to keep track of our reps for the next few exercises. So take your attention to the screen and we're gonna have a drawing lesson with Coach D. All right, so what you're gonna do is write four words, one under each other, left kick, right kick, push and row, okay? And then you're gonna draw lines across like this. And then you're gonna make three columns. It kind of looks like four, but you know what I mean. Label them one, two, and three. So we're gonna do three rounds of each exercise and these squares will give you a place to keep track of your reps. Left kick, right kick, push and row, and then three columns to the right so you can keep track of what you're doing. All right. So if you did this before, take a note of what color band you used and uh, try to use that again so you can compare your effort to last time. Um, if you didn't use it before, that's fine. Just uh, pick a band that's like medium kind of resistance. And we're gonna do 60 seconds of work. And what you'll be doing is counting the reps that you get. So every single rep counts and you'll be counting those reps. And at the end of the set, we're gonna write down the number. And this, this for this exercise, uh, for this round, be helpful if you kept your paper like next to your mat, because we're gonna be doing a lot of exercises on the mat. So it'll be helpful to just have it nearby on the mat. So. Looks like we're all kind of ready here. So let me just show you. Um, we've done these before, but we're going to do these donkey kicks. So you start with a band around both of your ankles and then you get into all fours and you slip the left side of the band around the middle of your left shoe. And you're just gonna be kicking up like this, keeping the knee bent the whole way, pretending you're putting the sole of your shoe on the ceiling, okay? So everybody get in the position for that. And we're gonna start first round of our fitness assessment, counting every single rep. All right. Everybody ready? Okay. We are going in three, two, and left kick. Counting every rep. Keeping that core tight. Squeezing the glute on the way up. Uh 
All right. So we've got 60 seconds to go here. Keep counting every single rep. So you can write it down at the end of the 60 seconds. All right, 20 more seconds to go. Keep moving. Here we go, last few seconds. And three, two, and one. Okay, write down your reps and then switch that band to the right foot because we're gonna do the same thing with the right foot. Okay, we're gonna start with that right foot in three, two, and right foot kicks up. Same thing here, 60 seconds, count every single rep, even if you didn't do this fitness assessment the first time, uh, the first exercise of this month, this way of keeping track actually gives you a nice challenge each round to match or beat the number of reps from the last round. So keep counting, really squeeze that glute as you bring that right foot up behind you, pressing that whole sole of your shoe towards the ceiling. 20 seconds to go. So you're going and trying to get as many reps as possible here. And three, two, and one. Okay, write down those reps under the right kick for round one. Next up is push ups. Just a quick note on the push up. I'm going to have you do whatever version allows you to get full extension of the arms and then all the way back here. So, something that will allow you to go all the way here. So, for push ups, if you can't do that on the mat, getting that full range of motion, then go to the chair, take one leg forward. This is a great option for a lot of people that I have them do, because you can still get your chest all the way to the edge of the chair and you're getting that full range of motion. Um, if that doesn't work for you, step out from the wall a little bit and you can still get that full range of motion, getting your nose into the wall and back. So choose an option for the push-ups that lets you still be able to keep moving through that whole 60 seconds. And that way you can really accumulate some nice reps to count for those push-ups. And we're gonna get started. So pick your position starting here in three, two, and let's go push-up. And it's fine if you're doing these push ups and you get to where you can't do anymore. If you do the next easier modification to be able to keep moving, that's what it's about today. Keeping moving through the whole 60 second interval, and you're doing great. Got about 20 seconds left here with these push ups. Final few seconds, keep moving. Three, two, and one. Okay, write your number of push ups down under that first column. One more exercise left in this first round. So go ahead and write down what you got for those push ups, and we'll be doing the bow and arrow road next. Quick demo on that. We've done this before, but just want to make sure we're all on the same page. So we're gonna be alternating like this. So that same arm movement, right, that we did in the warm up. You were all doing it. I saw you, you looked beautiful, but alternating like this. So be taking one arm back and then the other arm back like that. You've got it. All right, everybody ready? So we're gonna count each time we bring our fist back as one, 
two, three, like that, and go. So when you pull that fist back towards your armpit, you're keeping it at the armpit or lower level for that row. It's gonna burn your shoulders up a little bit. Try to keep your chest kind of puffed out, exaggerated here. That's gonna get some good muscles engaged in your back. Okay, 20 seconds left. You've got this, keep moving. Final 10. And three, two, and one. Okay, you did it, round one. All right, so we will do that two more times, right? Because we've got two more columns to fill out. So we're gonna start back at the top with those donkey kicks for our second round here. And like I said, those of you who haven't done this workout before, this is kind of fun just to see if you can match or beat the reps that you just wrote down for the first round. And um, fun for those of you who did do it too, because you can see if you can match or beat what you got last time. All right, so take your band for the donkey kicks, get in position with that band around your left foot around the right ankle, but around the middle of the left foot. And we're starting here in three, two, and kick with that left foot up. All right, keep it up. We're halfway through this side. Keep placing the sole of your shoe on the ceiling, so to speak. <sighs> I know it burns. You can do this, keep it up. All right, last 10 seconds is upon us. Keep moving, you've got this. And three, two, and one. Okay, write that number down that you just got for the left-sided kicks and switch that band so you can start with the right-sided kicks. Okay, we're starting with the right kicks in three, two, and go. All right, just remember to keep that knee bent the whole time you're bringing it, taking it behind you. That right knee maintains that bend in it. So what really makes this a donkey kick is the keeping that angle in your knee, which really, as you can feel, engages that right glute and the hamstring a little bit. 15 seconds to go. Keep counting. We're almost there, hold on. Three, two, one. Write down your number of right kicks and get in your push up position. Okay, all right. Let's start with our push ups in three, two, and push up. Okay, you keep your core tight with your push-ups. Doesn't matter what variation you're doing. You're still treating it as if you're doing a plank and then you're just moving that plank up and down in space or forward and back if you're doing wall presses. 
Okay, keep it up, 20 seconds to go. You're so close, keep it up, almost there. And three, two, and one. Okay, write down that number that you just got on your push-ups, and we are already at the last exercise of round two here. Okay, loving the effort that I'm seeing today. You're doing great. Grab that band that you're gonna use for that alternating bow and arrow row. So, everybody ready? Looks like we're good. Let's do this in three, two, and take turns rowing that back and forth. Okay. Counting every time that this comes back towards your armpit. Every rep is a success. You're here Monday morning. Thank you. Start your week off right, halfway through this interval. All right, I see some very good rowers here. Very good bow and arrow rowers. You're working it, keep it up. Whew. Closing in on the last 10 seconds here. And three, two, and one. Oh, wow. Anybody else feeling that burn? Whew. Okay, you did it. So write that number down, whatever you got there on the rows. This is it. This one's for all the marbles, round three. We're gonna do the same sequence of exercises, keeping track, and then we get a nice break. So, get your donkey kicking band. We're gonna start there with that left kick again. Everybody ready? The band goes around the right ankle in the middle of the left shoe. And we're starting here in three, two, and kick. Left foot's kicking up. All right, doing great. Already halfway through this side. Keep on kicking. Keeping that knee bent. Squeeze that glute on the way up with that foot. All right, only 10 seconds to go. You can do this, just keep moving. And three, two, and one. Excellent job. Write that number down for your left kicks and switch the band to the right shoe for the right kicks. Here you go. Starting in three, two, and right kick. Okay, doing great. Need to get that foot up towards the ceiling as far as you can. Keeping that knee bent as you swing it forward and push it back. Okay, final 20 seconds. You're doing it. Keep on moving. We've got 10 seconds to go.
Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, write that number down for the right kicks and then get into your push up position. All right, starting with the push ups. Last time for push ups today. And three, two, and one. Something to think about here is kind of making like a double chin, tucking your chin in. That helps to keep your neck in a nice, safe, neutral position as you're raising and lowering your body. And also remember that core tension. So you're kind of tensing your core, drawing that belly button into your spine throughout the whole movement. Only 15 seconds to go. Almost there. Keep going. You got this. Three, two, and one. Okay. All right, we have done it. We have reached the last exercise in the fitness assessment. So I'm gonna have you write down that number that you just got on your push-ups and Grab the band that you would like to use for the last bow and arrow exercise. One last bit of a shoulder fatigue here. Okay. Oh, ready? Let's do this. You're gonna crush it. You've got this. Three, two, every rep counts, go. Right. You look fantastic. Keep it up. Especially for a Monday morning at 7 a.m. You're bringing it today. Love it. Drive those elbows back behind your body with force. Over halfway done. Keep it up. Just 15 seconds. You've got this. You can keep it moving. Almost there. Almost there. Don't stop now. And three, two, and one. You did it. All right. Write down your number for those rows. Now it's time to just take a minute. Get some water, catch your breath, recover. All right. You were working hard, I saw that. Mm. So uh, for those of you who did do this workout, the first fit camp of June, if anybody wants to share improvements. Now, here's the thing. So. There's two ways to improve. Maybe you got more numbers or maybe you got the same amount of numbers as last time, but you actually felt like the effort was a little bit easier. So there's kind of two ways to improve there, but um, if anybody wants to share, the floor is yours. <laughs> if not, that's fine too. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna take a minute. Hey, it's Liz. I got more. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I got more kicks and rows, uh, mm -hmm. but I got the same amount of push-ups. But uh, I took that class with you to learn how to do them properly, so I can't do quite as many properly. Yeah, kind of changed probably from the way you, that you did them the last time. But that's that's awesome that you're honing into that, like paying attention to your form. Okay, good. So hopefully, um, some of you other ones noticed that there was maybe one of those exercises that either felt easier or you got more um, reps. So we've been practicing a lot of these things or muscles that use these exercises throughout the month. And that's what we're gonna continue to do next month is start off with a fitness assessment and I'll structure all the workouts so that we can do exercises that help us improve in the fitness assessment. So 
all about getting stronger. So we're gonna take it to the, I'm gonna tell you what we're up to next. We're gonna do five reps of an exercise and then five pulses of an exercise. So just as an example, the first one is five squat jumps. So we'll be doing five squat jumps and then five pulses. And we'll just go back and forth like that for 45 seconds. All these exercises are 45 seconds long. And what we're gonna do is get started here with 45 seconds of those squat jumps. And also the squat jumps are just as good if you would prefer to do kind of just going up on the balls of your feet instead of jumping. If that works better for you, then that's what you should do. We're gonna be in that for 45 seconds. And then we have a 15 second transition to the next exercise. So let's get started here. We're gonna be doing five squat jumps and then sinking down into five pulses. So we're going and go. Five, so you just count five. And then after the fifth squat jump, you sink down as far as you can and you're pulsing up just for five pulses. And this should be done kind of as fast as you can get through it. So that question that I asked this morning about doing something tirelessly, what do you need to do something without getting tired? You need some endurance. Okay, okay we've got a few seconds left here. This is a great way to build endurance, doing the pulses of any exercise. And we're resting. Whew. So now we're gonna do, we weren't quite done with the shoulders. Just take your lightest band here. Shoulders have already done a lot of work today. So we're gonna be taking this behind our backs, elbows behind your backs for five. And then you stay at that end range of motion for your pulse. So your pulse is gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So it's gonna be five full range of motion and then five at that end range pulse, okay? So we're starting in just a couple seconds here. We're gonna get their band around just an inch or two below your wrists. Starting in three, two, one. So five full range of motion and then five at that end range pulse. So when you're pulsing, doesn't matter what exercise, you just have constant tension on your muscle. And it's a really good way to build endurance because your muscle just doesn't get a chance to rest. So that is what we're doing here, working towards being able to endlessly do things with our arms and our legs. Maybe not endlessly, but longer before we get tired, right? That's what endurance is all about. And we're going to the next exercise now. Okay, so this one, remember, we're gonna move through it pretty quickly. So we're gonna be going into a reverse lunge and I'm gonna have you keep the foot back just to keep it fast. So we're gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And then the pulse is gonna be one, two, three, four, five like that. So, and then we'll switch sides. So when you've done five and five on one side, we'll do five and five on the other side. All right, so let's get into position. Let's take that right leg behind you. And we're sinking down into that reverse lunge, five of those lunges and then five pulses and go. One, two, three, four, five. And then five pulses. Whenever you're doing lunges, Make sure that in switch sides after you've done five and five on each, make sure that front leg, that front leg is really doing most of the work. The back leg, you're not launching off of it. You're putting all that weight through the front heel, the heel of the foot that's in front of you. Okay, almost through here. Try to finish up the side that you're on. Three, two, and one. Okay. All right, so next up, we're gonna get some hip activation. 
when we tell you we're going to use a heavy band because we're only doing 50, uh, 45 seconds here. You're going to slip a heavy band just above your knees. And you're going to be lifting those hips off the ground the whole time. You're going to be doing the five reps, separating your knees like this. And then the pulse is going to be at that end range of motion. You're taking it out just that last little inch or two at the end. So five full range of motion reps, and then five kind of pulsing where you've got a lot of tension on that band, okay? All right. And for anybody who's feeling like maybe laying on the back doesn't feel good this morning, you can also try um, being on the chair like this. Just an option for anybody who feels like uh, lying on their back doesn't feel good this morning. Okay, on the mat. And we're going for these bridge pulses. And three, two, one, five reps. Two, three, four, five. And keep it fast. So five of them is where you're bringing your knees almost all the way together and then all the way apart. And then five where they're just kind of pulsing in that end range of motion. This one is gonna fire up your glutes fast, especially since we just did all those donkey kicks. Wow, I'm feeling it. I know you are too. Trying to press those hips up to the ceiling as much as you can the whole time that we're doing this. And three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go through those exercises one more time. So get ready for squat jumps to squat pulses. Five squat jumps and five pulses. Here we go, three, two, and one. Those pulses, right? Building up some endurance for endless cycling, endless running. Here we go. Halfway through. Whew. The pulses sure do burn, don't they? Oh, but you got this, just a few seconds left. Three, two, and one. Okay. All right. Get back at those shoulders. So take that light band, place it just an inch or two below your wrists on your forearms. And we're going to keep the shoulders down as we go back. Go ahead and go. So five full range of motion, and then five kind of just hanging out in that end range of motion where we're building endurance by maintaining that constant tension and then back to five of the regular full. Okay, excellent. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Just a few seconds left. Make it count. You got it. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're back to those reverse lunges. Remember where we're putting most of the weight on the through the heel that's in front of us. And we're going in three, two, and back. Five, full range of motion lunges. And then five pulses, two, three. Okay, halfway. So good. Doing great. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Ooh, okay, back to the bridges. So take that heavier band, place it 
above your knees. And we're headed to the mat for those bridge hip abductions. Going in three, two, and off you go. Five, full range of motion, hip abductions, and then five end of the range pulses. Excellent, you're making sure that your hips are pressed to the ceiling as much as they can be throughout this whole motion. Keep it up. Okay, we've got this, just a few seconds to go. So close. And three. Two and one. Oh my goodness. Woo. That was a good one. Good one for the hips. All right. So we only have a few minutes left together. Oh no. Sad that our Monday is coming to a close soon already. Just about five minutes or so left. So we have time to pay attention to our core. And that's what we're going to do. For the next round, we're gonna be doing some bicycle pulses and some plank hip extensions. So we're gonna keep the same kind of reps than pulse scheme. So take a second, watch what we're doing here, and then we'll get started. So the bicycle pulses, excellent, excellent for keeping that lower abdominal control in check and building up your strength there. So we're gonna be going one, two, three. Notice I'm keeping on the same leg. And then that same, where you're in that end range of motion, just kind of really subtle, slow, inch back and forth movement. And then we'll take the other leg into that full range and then do the end of the range pulses. So that's gonna be the first exercise. The only other exercise we have is a plank hip extension. So we're gonna be on forearms or hands, whatever you do like to do for a plank. One two, three, and then kind of a pulse. One, two, three, okay? All right. We are going for one minute of each of those exercises, just a couple rounds, and then we will be done for today. You're doing so great. Keep up the good work. Okay. We're gonna do one minute with about 10 seconds to transition in between the two. Everybody get to the mat on their backs. This is it. Finishing out with a strong core today. All right. So let's go in three, two, and take one leg out. That full range of motion for three. And then three short pulses. And then switch sides. So what am I going to say? You know it. If we were in person, everyone would be telling me. Low back, what's happening in the low back? You're smashing a P or anything you want. Really pay attention to that low back being smashed against the mat. That is what's gonna give you the best workout here and keep your back nice and safe. Okay, keep it up. Last 10 seconds here to really be maintaining that pressure so that there's no space at all between your low back and the mat. Three, two, one, flip it over. It's blank time. So we're gonna do three leg lifts. And when you lift your leg, really tense your quad muscles so that that leg is completely straight, right? That's gonna keep you having a straight leg and go. Three lifts. And then three pulses on the other side, two, one. Okay. Super close, you got this. can also do these. I know some of you like to do the knee planks. You can still do the leg lifts on your knee. 
with the knee planks. Okay, last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh, how about that? Two more exercises. Let's just go one more time around, one more on those bicycle pulses, one more on the planks, and that'll take us to the end. So back to your backs. And we'll be doing 50 seconds, go. And three times out with one leg, and then three end of those range pulses. Making sure that low back is glued to the mat. Okay, halfway there, keep it up. This is a tough one. If you're really pressing that low back against the mat, mm, really start to feel that lower abdominal area engage. But once we build up the endurance and the strength there, Tell you what, that's everyday safe and healthy back right there. It's working for you in the long run. And we are switching now to the planks. Last exercise today. Starting in three, two, and one. So three, full range leg lifts, and then three end of the range little pulses with those legs, switching sides. So the trick is here when you've got one leg raising and lowering to keep that hip on the same side of the leg that you're using down towards the mat, right? Cause that hip tends to want to twist up away from the mat because you've got the leg lifted. Try to fight that, maintain that control in your torso. 15 seconds to go. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Woo. Hard workout today. Excellent job, everyone. Stay on the mat for a stretch. We're gonna do Pay attention to our quads for the first minute here of stretching. Lie on your right side. A little arm pillow for yourself, if you will. Take your left ankle, grab it with your left hand, and just pull that heel in towards your butt. So that should be a nice front of the left thigh stretch. Hang out there. Oh, take a couple deep breaths for sure. Okay, congratulations. You made it to the end of June Fit Camp. July Fit Camp starts Thursday already on the same schedule as this month, Mondays and Thursdays at 7 a.m. There'll be a link in case you haven't had a chance to sign up. There'll be a link in the email that goes out today for that. All right. Pull that leg back, feel that stretch. And let's take it to the other side. So lie on your left side, grabbing that right ankle with the right hand, pulling that heel in towards your butt for a nice quad stretch. So based on the feedback I got uh, asking when happy hour could happen, there was one date when everyone said they could attend and that was July 6th at 6 p.m. So there you have it. We're gonna have a happy hour uh, July 6th at 6 p.m. Super excited for that. Last one was fun, a lot of fun. Some people joined us while they were cooking. Some people joined us while they were driving. Uh, or some people just joined us, you know, whenever they could. So happy if you can only come in for five minutes 
just we want to see your face outside of the fit camp exercise. It's a lot of fun. All right, so our next stretch is gonna get on your backs, cross that left ankle over the right knee, and you're gonna pull that right knee in towards your body. So that's gonna give you, oh, so nice of a hip stretch. Feels good after all those donkey kicks. Feels good in that left hip. Take a couple deep breaths here. Try to let your body relax into the stretch a little bit. And cross that right ankle over the left knee and pull that left knee back. Another option here, if pulling that left knee back feels awkward or not good to you, then just let go of that and press the right knee away from your body. Um, that can achieve a similar stretch as well in that right hip. Okay. Last stretch here. Let's pay attention to our shoulders, right? We did a lot of shoulder work today, those rows. So let's take one arm across the body, kind of hug it into your body with the other arm and get that good shoulder stretch from that arm stretched across your body. So I have to send a huge thank you out to everybody who's sent a picture in for the rainbow contest because now we've passed, passed the $100 mark. Uh, for a donation to the Prasad Center. I'm super thrilled. Um, we do still have Tuesday and Wednesday, so tomorrow and the next day, um, to submit pictures and see, keep them coming in. I'm super excited to see all of them. Um, and then Thursday uh, for the first July Fit Camp, if my daughter is up at the end of Fit Camp for anybody who can stay for like an extra two minutes, I'm going to actually bring her on the screen and have her Hopefully she'll do what I want her to do, but like draw a name out of a bag um, so that I, so we can see who has won uh, the gift card for the, the contest. So really thank you everyone who's uh, taken the time to put a picture up and had people actually email me a picture too. So that's just, that's just awesome. Thank you for being into that. Um, it's a cause that's important to me. So I think we're having a lot of fun seeing the rainbows. Okay, thank you everyone. Have a great week. Hopefully I'll see you on Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your day.